Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope everybody, everybody is just like, stop the panic. Me and this great officer over there sitting at their car, I don't want to interview officers because I don't think that's right. We, we should leave them to their duty. But he really needed a heartfelt conversation, and me and him just started conversing, and we started talking about the facts of what's the next step. And I'm like, officer, how can you tell who I am? How do you know who I'll be? How do you know who this guy is, whether I'm a crook or not? This is the new norm in the streets. And he's like, yeah, I get it. I understand it. We know it. And then I'm like, you know, what are your thoughts about people getting released from jail? And he went in. He had the same exact thoughts that I posted before. Why take them out of there? Why? Why take them out of there when we can stay? When you can keep them in there. First of all, they got a medical facility in there. They got nonstop food going in there. They have an isolation unit, which is solitary confinement. You know, I've been in solitary confinement. I did my box time. They also have a yard where they can go out for walks. They also have separate cells. They can have two-man cells with those that don't have corona. They can stay in two-man cells. I mean, people are living with their roommates. Why can't they live with their roommates? They got dormitories. They got dormitories up to 60 people, and they're spread out. You know? Why would you let all these people out on the streets? That's not a good thing. But he knows. He knows what to expect. But he had some positive words, amazing words. First of all, he's on the front line all the time. He doesn't even go home because he, he knows that he's on the front line. He don't know if he could be carrying corona. He don't know if he could be. He, he don't know if he can infect his children. So he doesn't go home. This officer. I feel bad. I feel bad. And and he he really he really needs a big up. So, you know, our conversation started up and we had a good big up conversation and good guy, good guy, good officers, good officers out here in the streets. Just don't, we shouldn't give them a hard time. That I understand. Nobody should be giving officers a hard time. They're going to be on the front lines of the streets right now and they're going to be the protection that all of us have as a whole. And they're risking their lives. They're risking so much. They're risking so much. But he was optimistic, and he knows, and he, he gave such great words of inspiration. First of all, for all of America, we survived 9-11. We survived 9-11. We survived, survived the swine flu, and we'll survive this too. We just have to stay maintained, stay positive, and understand what to be ready for. What to be ready for. Because, again, this isn't fear margering. This is not, this is not, this is not to get people worried. On the other hand, get knowledge, get more wisdom, understand, understand, and you will know and you will see that if you have things in control and you understand you got your mind in control and you start having concerns for the right reasons, you'll see that your life will feel a little bit better. The panic will calm down. The anxiety will calm down. The worries will calm down. Because you just got to get a grip. Just got to get a grip and, and, and just take suit and, and become a leader in your house. This is why you're home. Get Become a leader of yourself and you'll see you'll be able to conquer anything. Conquer anything. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. Wonderful evening. A wonderful night for those of you at home with your families right now. Hey, love them. Love yourself. Love them. You know, I hear, you know, I walk past and I hear a lot of things. And it's time for everybody to start to love one another. And the good, the good need to stick together. Because if the good stops sticking together, then all else fails. Cop even said himself, this is a world cleansing. This is a world cleansing. He agreed, we agreed on everything we were discussing. Everybody, again, have a wonderful, wonderful evening.